A month after President Obama's immigration law known as Deferred Action took effect, the Department of Homeland Security says as of Friday, U.S. Immigration and Citizenship Services has received some 82,000 applications. But here locally, Austin Francis says the turnout remains low. Kind of trickling in, they're kind of um, being a little hesitant in coming in. And one of the reasons, according to Francis, could be the six-page application which cost $465. And others are not too sure about the programmers yet, they want to know what's going to be the outcome of those who have already applied. We're going to get the employment card or, or whatever the case may be. Yet others are concerned about the upcoming presidential election. If um, President Obama does not get re-elected, it's a possibility that this program could be kind of squashed. So far, no one from the Virgin Islands that Francis knows of has been approved for the program, which is only open to those with a high school diploma, vocational training or military service. In addition, the applicant must show they entered the U.S. before turning 16, have lived in this country for five consecutive years and do not have a criminal record. And it allows undocumented immigrants to apply for the temporary right to live and work openly in the U.S. without fear of deportation. And not only that, but they will also get a chance to apply for their and driver's license and uh, the social security card you know so it is a good benefit a good program and they should really jump on it and take advantage of it those approved will receive a two-year employment card with options to renew for another two years for news two i'm erica bivens